Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host e -Day, bringing you more Let's Play Enigmatica 6. So today what we're going to be working on is finishing up resource bees. I'm going to start by making the multi-block centrifuge. Uh, and then we're going to head off to the nether to uh, gather a total of seven, uh, uh, well, skeleton skulls to be able to get seven nether stars in total um, so that we can upgrade all the way to the tier four apiary as well. So this is uh, a little bit of the apiary that has been running and I've been pulling it out manually for right now and sticking them here in these bins. So uh, it's been a couple of days and uh, the, the honeycombs, they're coming in. They're coming in pretty fast. So I wanted to grab some of them, set some of them to centrifuge here while we work. Yep. Because what's holding us back uh, isn't really going to be the nether stars. It's going to be these honey bottles. We need a lot of them. Because every time we make an apiary, we need two of these tier 4 beehives, which are eight of these um, honey blocks each. And that's... That's a lot of honey that needs to come out with a 2% chance. So let's uh, jump into making these the multi-block centrifuge first. Uh, I already laid out everything that I need to be able to make the item. So let's go with the centrifuge casing first. Uh, I only need 13 of these, so let's go that. Brain fart 13, so we have our 39. And then uh, we need to turn four of these blocks into the centrifuge controller. So, oh, we, well, we do need to pick up the centrifuge, so we can do that now. We'll go ahead and pop this guy. Did it go in here? There it is. So we have the centrifuge, we have the blocks. Uh, we're going to need the coal generator for right now. Go ahead and upgrade this guy to the centrifuge controller. And then we can use our book. Where do we stash our book? Right here. The multi-block for this guy is super, super simple. Uh, so let's check it out. Centrifuge, multi-block centrifuge, visualize. Let's see, I kind of want it closer. I'm going to be moving these guys into finished product on the other side. So, let's see, can we put it right here? That looks fine, right? And then I'll, I'll move those, all of those later. Yeah, I like it right here. Let's go ahead and we'll grab our... Does the visualize go away? No, it doesn't go away when we move the book. Centrifuge controller. Okay, so... Here. I believe the middle is hollow. All right, let's see. We need Is it hollow in the middle? Oh, it has one block right here in the middle so this bottom one right there right there did i miss one in the back maybe it isn't hollow i filled that one in so let's put the face right here there we go and it's going to tell me it's an error because that it wants the uh the centrifuge to be facing north. Grab our book and we can unvisualize. And there we go. It's up and running. We just need to give it some power. Let's see, we can hide the power back here for right now. All right. And do I have coal in here? I do. We'll give it a healthy amount of coal. Now that we have the city bee up and running. And it's full of power, we can give it glass bottles, and now, let's see. 
Nice. There we go. There we go. Honey bottles. So now that the centrifuge is upgraded to the multi-block centrifuge, we should be able to gather uh, these honey bottles much faster now, which fast is important. It's still 2%. But we need it. We really do need it to be faster. All right, so this... I still have these guys. These guys. And did any honeycomb spill out? No. We'll just leave this in here for right now. These are honey, right? Yes. We're making our way. We're making progress. So let's see. Ooh. Let's also make a crafting table. One, two, three, four. Out of mahogany. And let's put a crafting table over here. There we go. Uh, this is what I wanted to do. Did it shift click? Yeah, it shift clicked. Uh, let's see, 10. Oh, we do have a balance grid option, right? Yeah. Oh no, I need to highlight all of them and then balance. There we go. Cool, we got a stack. So let's check this out. Stacks. Boom. Yep, nice. Before I get started, uh, we do really do need to take care of these quests. All of these where we get a check mark. And it opens up the quests, because if I had checked this, I would have gotten credit for all of my backpacks, the drawers. Let's see. Let's go to the beginning. And Enigmatica 6, getting started. Gives us some food. Mod book. Just give it a book for an Akashic Tome. All right. And adventure. All of these check mark quests. Tools and armor. Open up Tetra. Storage, we opened up. Refined storage. Now, these we can keep closed. Integrated dynamics, create, immersive engineering. Yeah, storage is the important one. With drawers. We just need one regular drawer. So we're gonna go the, tr uh, the storage drawers route to hold all of our honeycombs, we need to make one regular drawer. Put our framed drawers down first. There we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Two of these and a storage drawer. Put this bad boy right here. We need to get rid of all of these uh, honeycombs that I hid back here. need to get a piping uh, in from this side, lead, and then we need to get piping out from this side. So let's see, what can we do? Let's put these up over here for right now. One, two, oops. You're going to do that every time? Okay. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And now, do I have any room for the ones I'm holding? Alright, see, let's see. Gold, lead, iron. Let's just drop it in the, the coal one for right now. Where is the pipes quest? We need some pipes. So we need logistics, pipes mod. So let's do that. Pretty pipes. Okay, we got a wrench. And we need some pipes. Pretty pipes mod. Okay, so we need... Accepts any forge ingots tin. All right, we need to do this, right? Oh no, it's the other way around. Oop, uh, it's, I think we're good for pipes. That's me shift clicking. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good for pipes for a while, whoops. Let's see how fun this mod is. So we need copper nuggets, we need slabs and we need redstone fifteen we need iron and we need redstone to make the servos twenty nine is fine all right so we need observer to make low and then that, right? Oh, we have to make three of them? Okay. Alright, there's our three. Priority modules, advanced routing, item terminal, item filtering, speed modules. Pipe pressurizer. Alright, so I think with these, let's see if we can extract now. One here. And let's go extraction. Is that how it works? Well, two pipe minimum does work. Oh, the low extraction module does not have a graphic. I'm missing one, so it went into the pipe. I just didn't notice it disappear on me. All right, so we're moving combs in now. Slowly is fine. All right. And then over here, what we can do... Let me block that off. Why does it have that? We're touching stone. Alright, now we're going to extract out of this as well. Yep. Neat. Let's help this out a little bit because I'm curious. Because it's going to be slow putting them in and slow pulling them out. Kind of neat. I have too many pipes on me now. Put the pipes in here. It's extracting. Slowly is fine. Ooh, it's getting backed up now. Power is good. It's extracting. This will be fine for right now. 
what we need to do now is we need to head to the nether and start gathering our uh, wither skeleton skulls. And that's the reason why I made a slime steel's cleaver, so that we could get severing too. All right. Inventory is fine. Let's go to the nether. And let me stretch my legs real quick while the nether portal is coming up. Alright, nether portal's up and running. Uh, by up, up and running, I mean it's, it's extended. Actually, no, it hasn't yet. Now it has. Dude. Alright, let's head off to the nether. Alright, my guys. So, we are back from the nether. Uh, it ended up being a very, very long trek. About two hours to gather all of the wither skeleton skulls required for uh, the... Uh, apiary tier 4 upgrade. So let me get rid of this guy. We can put him back down in the ground. I also just noticed right before I wanted to record that we have one of these wandering traders and he does have a tree capitator. That sounds really cool. Silk touch, mending, efficiency, unbreaking. I want to buy this. 45 emeralds. Luckily for us, we have an emerald bee that has been making us all of the emeralds that we need. Let's go 64. All right, and let's also grab the wand. Let's see. We should be able to pillar up since we have slime boots. All right. There we go. And vein miner. 64. So let's buy this really awesome axe. Oh yeah, I forgot. We need to give him a diamond axe as well. Alright, so three. And two. Uh, it would help if I made it. <laughs> there we go. I'm a little antsy. Like, I have this irrational thought he's, that he's just gonna vanish on me. Alright. There we go, the tree capitator, nice. And the elephant seems very happy. Cool, that was a, a little bonus. Uh, I do think we have, yeah, we caught this really awesome uh, trouble the other day. So let's put it in our stash here and drop off these guys. Oops, we're running out of room. That's what I get for going for resources before storage, but. I didn't want to do the same thing as everyone else, going for storage first. So, a little update. I am going to split the Tier 4 Apiary. I'm going to make that part of next episode. Uh, it's just, it's too much information for uh, all in one episode. I did find out something really cool about this multi-block. Uh, in Twitch chat, one of our members, Byte Templar, asked me if I figured out how to get around the honey bottles. And I didn't really understand what he meant until I realized that I was sending glass bottles through this guy like crazy. It was almost ridiculous how many glass bottles I had to send through. And it wouldn't be a problem, but this bin only accepted up to 512 of the regular honey bottles. And I was wondering what was going on, so I had to manually pull these out, manually turn them into uh, the honey blocks so that I could put the, the glass jars bar back in here. And I decided there's got to be a better way. So I removed the coal generator, I put our honey generator here, 
And uh, what I'm doing is now everything that comes in from our uh, tier one apiary goes into the centrifuge. And then one thing I did realize is that some honeycombs, they don't have a, uh, a honey flavor to them, for lack of a better word. Like, the copper honeycomb doesn't have copper honey. It has regular honey, and it's a 25% chance, not just a 2% chance, for these regular honey bottles. Other ones, like the iron, let me grab the iron. Iron has a 2% chance for iron honey bottles, so that 2% chance isn't really that impressive. But the copper honey and other ones like the, the zombie flesh one for leather, they have regular honey for 25% chance. So that's a lot of honey. We have no problems with uh, the, the honey blocks from fluid versions at all. Not, a, not at all. The one thing that I figured out is uh, running this guy through, I put the honey generator down here. So now it's touching the multi-block, giving it power. And then I have two seared faucets from Tinkers, which we did in, uh, in episode one. They're both being controlled by the same lever, because they're both touching redstone, so both of them are active. Right here, what I have is a seared channel, two pieces, and I right-click to turn it, uh, put a hole in both of them. Behind this first one, is uh, the honey congealer from Resource Bees. The um, recipe is super, super simple. One thing I want to let you guys know is uh, you do need Silk Touch to move it. I've broken a couple of these things uh, trying to move it. When you mine it up, it shatters. So you need Silk Touch or you need to make another one. Thank goodness they're cheap. And then I put a liquid trash can here from Trash Cans specifically because sometimes this fluid fills up with regular honey and then these three slots have the specific like iron honey or coal honey and it fills in here these will always stay level so uh if you have one bucket in here and one bucket in here it will alternate between the two from the same faucet keeping them both level. It won't empty out one and then empty out the next. It will, uh, it'll teeter. It'll blink like one, then the other, then the other, and then it'll switch back. It's super annoying. But the way I have it here is I put in the copper honeycomb so that it makes regular honey so that you guys can see. The, uh, it blinks and it constantly refills the honey generator. So this guy is now self-sufficient on power. And then in the background, the honey gets poured into this guy. Let's see if we can watch it work. When it fills up to over one bucket, it congeals it into the actual item that we need. There we go. It made one of the congealed blocks which is touching the same exact exit pipe from the multi-block. And it sends it in here, which I have here, 466 already. Can you guys imagine how many glass bottles I've had to deal with <laughs> for this amount? 466. So with this setup, we do not need uh, glass bottles at all. And whenever it's one of the other fluids that I was mentioning. Oh, right now I'm only dealing with regular honey. When it's the other fluid, it will actually spit out and it'll go over and into the liquid trash can. That's the best way I can deal with it. Get rid of the ones that are, uh, are squirrely or else the honey congealer will fill up with a couple of millibuckets of, let's say iron honey, and it'll all stall over again. So with this setup, it keeps this guy full, the honey generator that runs the power for the machine, and will congeal our honey and dump everything that isn't the uh, traditional or the regular Minecraft honey. So this, this setup works perfectly. I've already read, let it run a couple of days, so I'm really happy to show this fully functional. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep this series going, and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full, unedited progress, hit up my Twitch at twitch.tv slash ddanicus. I put the link in the description below for you guys.